So I'm running Elementary OS here, the version that just came out very recently, and I'm testing how app images work on the system. For this test I go to this page here at Bintray where I'm hosting app images of RetroArch, which is a game emulator. And as you can see there are various versions here and I will I intentionally not grab the latest version. Let's say I go three versions back and just go to the files here. Let's grab this and as you can see this is a rather large file, 200 and 28 megabytes. It's being downloaded right now. As we can see, about a minute left. Yeah, I had stopped the video. Now the file is being downloaded. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Here we go. So now it's finished. And we can open in folder. Now, as you can see, here is the app image and thanks to the app image daemon that's running in the background it should have been registered with the menu by now so that if I go here and search for retro sure enough here we have retro arch and we can launch it. So that's cool and all but remember we didn't download the latest version here so let's update to the latest version. How complicated could that be? Well let's go down here why did this disappear now? <laughs> Must be a bug. In any case, let's try again. Retro Arch. Let's go down here and press Update. Up comes the updater, which is checking online what is the latest version of Retro Arch and downloads just the binary delta, just the few bytes that have actually changed from the version I had to the latest version. That was extremely quick and as we can see it's already done now so I can launch the new version. Here we go, that's the new version. Well, in case you don't trust me, we can check by going to information and I think it's in system information. Here we have build date October 3. We do it here. Oh, what did I do? I can also click on this stuff. That's interesting. So let's go to information and system information build date October 10 that was a slick update wasn't it 